Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we're gonna be talking about my current makeup favorites in every category. It has been a while since I have done a makeup related video. I've seen the comments, I've seen the questions, I've seen everything regarding where did they go, where did the foundation reviews go, when are you going to do a tutorial on that look or this look and all of that. I've seen them and I have to say my love of makeup probably for the last two years, almost two years we've been in this pandemic, has probably dwindled. I'm gonna be quite honest. I used to wear makeup probably four out of seven days out of the week. I used to wear makeup to work. I used to go into the office. I used to do a lot more outside of the home. And quite honestly, that has changed significantly in the last two years. So no, I have not worn makeup like I used to. I still love it. I have it on right now, but it seems like the only time I wear makeup is when I film. I film one day a week, 52 Two weeks that means 52 days out of 365 I wear makeup and it's not enough to keep purchasing it at a large amount like purchasing and purchasing I've been more on my skincare kick as you guys will see soon I have some skincare videos coming up and that's where my money has gone with Sephora in my last few months but makeup is still a love for me again I still wear it at some time so a lot of these products that you're gonna see are products that you've probably seen throughout the years on my channel. So they'll just be in every category from brows to foundations to lips to all of that. These are literally my favorite products and I've used every single one of them on my face today. Without further ado, let's get started. I have all my products right beside me and I'm gonna start how I start my makeup. I'm gonna go in the exact order. The first product being my NYX Brow Pencil. If you are familiar with my channel and you've watched me for for the last almost six years coming up on that I've had this channel. This should be no surprise for you. It's made literally every favorites video. You've seen me try it in a lot, a lot of makeup tutorials. This is it. There is no Anastasia brow pencil. There is no brow pomade. This is it. It's $9.99. I either get it from a Ulta or my beauty supply store has NYX products. It has the spoolie side and then it also has the brow side. I use the color chocolate and it is how I do my brows all the time. I'm very heavy handed and so that's why pomades make my brows look black. This creates a very natural looking brow that I think I have going on right now. Get it in the color that works for you. They have so many other different colors, darker, lighter. You won't regret it. Now the next step of my process is I go on to my eyes. For my eyes, I prime my eyes now with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Color. And I have this one in the color Unnatural. It's just a very much so natural color. I love this for priming my eyes. Laura Mercier, if you guys know, I'm on their PR list, but they know how to get you because when you're on the PR list, they just send you certain PR and then they don't keep sending you the same thing. I've actually bought this with my own coins since being on their PR list. I love this as primer. I think it makes my eyeshadow, again, everything I have on, I have on right now as a primer. I use it as a primer. You can use it as an eyeshadow. That's what the, I guess, intended purpose of this product would be. But overall, you're gonna get a crisp base for your eye products that go on next with this product. And speaking of, let's transition over to palettes. I am an eyeshadow girl. I watch so many people's makeup favorites videos and so many of them don't wear shadows anymore or they used to. And again, I get it, 2020 and 2021 were all over the place years. I ain't got time for all of that. I wasn't even a shadow girl when I would go into the office. I wear shadow for makeup reviews. I don't wear shadow going into the office because that adds a level of time that I did not have in the mornings of the past. But I will say it was hard to pick one. So I think I picked four shadows that I love. Uh, I love a palette. I love a, a few palettes. Now the first palette I'm gonna talk about um, is a palette I actually made. I, again, being a MAC girl, MAC doesn't get the love that it used to, but I made this palette um, from MAC. So it has a lot of shadows, like all that glitters, woodwinked, expensive pink. What else is on here? There's so many uh, that I've you know, made this myself. Again, you can buy this kind of insert as well as the shadows. Their shadows now are $6. Back in the day, it used to be $18. 
I'm so glad they got off of that, but I think they're six or eight dollars at this current moment. And I've made this palette of my own because again, if I'm gonna have a palette, I want to have colors that I actually like. So that is where that palette is. But if we're gonna talk about uh, shadows that are pre-palleted, so you buy these as is, Anastasia makes some incredible shadows. It cannot be denied. I know they've taken a little bit of a hiatus, but that's perfectly fine because I like what they already have. So Soft Glam was my OG original fave. You see how dirty it is on the outside. They needed to get rid of this felt thing because it just attracts dirt. But as you see, a lot of colors I have hit pan on. I have loved a lot of these colors. I use them up. So Soft Glam is a palette that I probably would even repurchase once I completely hit pan. As well as Jackie Aina. I like, again, this is better. This doesn't get dirty at, at like the other palette does. This is a good, good palette. Um, and then this one I've hit pan on a couple of shades as well. I love the names of her palette colors too. They have such unique names like Big Wig, Credit, Lituation, Sponsored Edges, Trust Issues. I love it. I love it for Jackie. So of course I had to support and I actually like the palette. It just doesn't sit. This is a newer entry for me. I've had this for like less than a month, but it reminds me of Soft Glam so much. And it's Natasha Denona. The thing I love about the palettes that I have chosen, uh, probably over the Mac is the formulas of all of these are incredible. But Natasha Denona, this is what this one looks like. Again, it's newer for me, so I haven't really hit pan on any of them, but I love how much I've been reaching for it. Again, it, it's giving me soft glam, and I'm loving that because soft glam is one of my favorite palettes. But switching gears, what do I do next? I do my liner sometimes. I don't always line my eyes, but when I do, it's a NYX product as well. So I have two different NYX products. One of them, I'll talk about this one, the NYX always keeping it tight. Always keeping it tight. I use this to tight line my under eye. So when I use lashes, this really helps tight line up under my eye. And what tight line means is I just go in and I'll go up here. I don't really do my under I just really do up here because it helps for the blend of my lashes with the false lashes. So I tight line with that. Um, it's a very thin pencil, but I also love the NYX. That's the point um, for, it's look how thin this is. I mean, the thinness, the sharpness. Are you getting into it? Is it even being able to pick up how thin this is? I love this, like this is so small, like it fits in my hand good and I can get a precision. I can even do a wing with this. So I use this for my actual like lining the top. So that goes up under it, again, the tight line. And then for the top, I use this incredible i need thin i don't use chunky because i have small eyes i have very very small eyes so you have to be very cautious about what you do because it's not hard to go extreme with lining when you do have small eyes like me and because i have small eyes i'm very particular about my lashes not all lashes work for me i have been very clear for years and years and years that the lashes i love are the i envy so wispy 09 lashes they are perfect for us with small eyes i don't know if you have longer eyes how this would work because i don't even find myself having to cut these if you have longer like bigger eyes you guys have so many more eyelash options than i have because i have to cut a lot of my lashes that are not this this fits my eye perfectly no cutting Ah, I love these lashes. This is what the old packaging looks like. I have so many that I have the old packaging, which looks like this. So they might still have this version in your stores. You might see it like this, or you might see it in the current way that it is. Just depends, but no matter what, they are the same. It is the 09 So Wispies by Kiss, $2.99. I buy them from my local beauty supply store. If I can't, then I buy them from wig types. The next stage is I prime my face. And for that, I have been loving the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas. This is the blurring. So they have so many versions. They have blurring, they have hydrating, they have like sparkling, they have like six 
types of primers. I have a lot of primers and they sent them to me again because I'm on PR, but the one that I kept reaching for, if you see this bottle, this is out. I'm running out of this one. So I bought with my own coin. Again, I'm on PR, but if it's a good product, I'm gonna buy it. And so I bought it in its full version. Again, it's the blurring one. I feel like this feels my pores and it like it makes a smooth surface for my foundation that goes on top of this the hydrating one I think I probably talked about that in a previous video and I liked it at the time but nothing creates a smooth like it feels like I'm putting foundation on a actual canvas like a true paint brush canvas whereas the other one the hydrating one that I used to like was very slick so I love the Laura Mercier pure canvas blurring primer now the next thing i want to get into is foundations now a lot of you guys found me and found this channel due to my foundation reviews which is awesome i love that i love that you guys were able to engage with me on that front but i've gotten questions because it has been almost over a year over a year probably a year and a half since my last foundation review and i've gotten questions are you going to do more where did they go uh, I subscribe to you for this. You haven't done this. Why am I still subscribed to this girl? I 100% understand. But going back to what I said at the top of this video, it's been a crazy two years. I don't go out. I don't wear makeup a lot. And I bought every single foundation that you saw in my foundation reviews, probably outside of two. I don't get sent PR a lot. Laura Mercier might be the only makeup brand I'm on the PR list for. I don't get sent a lot of things. So it used to require me to go to a store and buy with my own coin and come on here and review, which was fine. You know, I didn't have any problems with it. And some foundations are cheap. Some are a little bit more expensive, but it was fine because I knew I would be wearing those foundations like back in the day I was going places I was living life so at the end of the day I was something I wanted to try now having been at home for the last two years and not really going out I just was in a place where why do I want to buy more foundations for it to sit and sit and sit and sit like I would have a bunch of foundations and foundations are only good for about 24 months I believe so two years is the shelf life they say on the back of the package well this one says 12 months 12 months 24 months foundations don't have a lot of a shelf life so at the end of the day again wanting to if you've watched my financial journey videos wanting to be as frugal mcdougal as i can be for my home buying process as well as wanting to not have a drawer full of foundations that i don't want to wear i did cut back i'll be honest i did cut back i have bought maybe i'd say four foundations four new new foundations in the last two years, maybe even five, but I just felt like I got too far away from doing the reviews that I just didn't do reviews on them. But I might can do some reviews on the current foundations that I have, but I have to be honest, I probably will not be purchasing more foundations just for the purpose of doing reviews because again, I don't wear them as much. But the two that I have been loving and wearing a lot, one of them is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Um, this is the pouch version. You guys are probably familiar with it in the little glass bottles. They are very affordable. If you've seen the glass bottles one too, my issue with it is that it, you pour and you pour too much. I like the pouch because I can like pour out how much I want to pour out of it. So I've been loving the 338 Spicy Brown. I've been mixing this because it's a little too dark for me. It is what I have on right now. It's been a little too dark for me at times. So sometimes I mix it with my Fenty Beauty. I love of these these are the eavesdrops the blurring skin tint i am in the color uh 17 and this one this reminds me of mac face and body if you've watched my previous videos mac face and body was my foundation of choice for so many so many so many years it's such a light coverage foundation this is just as light coverage this is light very light so this is more sheer this is probably more medium coverage depends on what type of coverage you want if i was back in the office this would probably be what I wear all the time because if you are looking for very sheer. Now, if you're not a sheer person and you're like, I got imperfections that need to be covered, maybe put this down, put this away. But if you're somebody who's like, I just want a little bit of something, evening out my skin, but I still want my skin to breathe, that Fenty Beauty gonna get you right. Now, next concealer, the MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Concealer. Love this. I am in the shade NC44, 24 hours. I have not reached for anything but this. I do have like Maybelline Fit Me. I have a Laura Mercier one. I have the Lancome. I have the 
Too Faced. I have a lot of concealers. I find myself still reaching for this. I think the color match is incredible. NC44. I used to be NC42. That was a little too light or I used to use it. Excuse me. I didn't used to be it. I used to try to make it work for me. Didn't really work. So NC44 I think is my perfect shade and I love it. Now next thing I do is I set that concealer. I love the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I know they have the translucent powder and that's what I used to use but when they sent me this in PR and I don't want to tilt I want to tilt it just enough so it doesn't fall out but just enough so you guys can see it's a little bit lighter I like it because I do find that it does actually brighten what I need to brighten which is my under eye area um, it's a little bit smaller than the translucent as well I'm a big fan of that so after that I move on to my contour and the bronzing stage now for contour I have been loving the True Complexion by Black Radiance Contour Palette. I've had it for a while. Um, I love the darker shade for contouring my nose and then sometimes my cheekbones. What I used to use and what I still do love quite a bit, but I think they stopped making it and mine is kind of broken, is the Kevin Aquan gonna try to move that in that used to be it used to be such a dull muted color that works well for contours contours you do want something a little bit more neutral you're creating that shade and you need a shade that's gonna be darker but not as orangey as a bronzer can be bronzers are for of course bronzing up your face they're for adding that a little bit of a level of like okay I'm sun kissed I'm not sunken in if you just contour sometimes you can look sunken in and grayed out so I have been loving the Fenty Beauty um, this is the caramel cutie bronzer this is the bronzer I have been loving Fenty been coming through with the products, honey. They've been coming through with the products and I've been loving it this year. And the next thing I move on to is my blush. My blush should be of no surprise to you. It's again a palette I made. You can get the blush on its own. It's the MAC Raisin Blush. I love MAC Raisin. It is such a good tone for so many different complexions. Darker, lighter complexions. I think it looks so beautiful. It's like beautiful wine color and I, I just adore this. I have it also in a non palette form. I have it in a kind of single compact, but really do I, I pull for that. I t sometimes like to have this. Again, this works well if you're traveling to create a palette like this or if you're doing other people's makeup, which I like to bring it on. I've only done like a few people's makeup. I'm not a makeup artist in any capacity, but I think having stuff in palette form makes it a lot easier. And especially if you want a lighter for the spring, a darker for the fall, you have that option with this palette. My next stage is highlighting. And for highlighting, I have liked Wet n Wild again, a very affordable brand. The Wet n Wild, uh, this is the Precious Petals highlighter. Love this, love this so much. It's a great dupe for more high end, more high end being one that again I broke. When I love something, I guess I break it. And this is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. It's always going to be one of my loves and staples, and it's a great dupe. If you want to get a color that's similar to that, that Precious Petals by Wet n Wild is a kind of a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow, but that is my highlighter of choice moving on i then set my skin and i set my skin with the urban decay all nighter always 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 going to be my favorite setting spray of life i've tried others this bottle does a great job of even when it's low it doesn't give that splashy wet look all over your face this does a really a fantastic job so i know i've tried the max fix i've tried pretty much any setting spray that is on the market i've tried it and i still find myself reaching back for my urban decay Next, the liner that I always use to line my lips is usually MAC Chestnut. I mean, the liner is going to depend heavily on the lip product that you use. So if it's a red, I'm not going to use Chestnut because Chestnut is a more brown shade. I don't even know. I've used this to the mud that you can't even see. You can't even barely see the ending of it. But Chestnut was my liner of choice and still is my liner of choice. Talked about that for years upon years. Now, one of my favorite lips this year that I I will sleep on this I will sleep people talk heavily about the Fenty Beauty as being the epitome of a red lip now this is the Fenty Beauty it's called uncensored they were right they were right if you need a red lip do not look any further this feels comfortable so comfortable on the lips so comfortable I love the application of it it gives such a smooth application and then for my other lips if I'm wearing anything else it's right now 
now I have the Mess Around by ColourPop and then on top in the middle to create kind of a little bit of a lighter, I have the Chi by ColourPop. Uh, I used to love, and I still do love, Sepia by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is a complete dupe for Mess Around. So Mess Around, you can get Mess Around, you can get Sepia by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's the same exact lip. I line my lips with MAC Chestnut and I go in with Anastasia or the ColourPop Mess Around and you get the exact same kind of look. So those have been my makeup favorites. Let me know down below in the comment section, what are some of your favorites? What have you loved over the years? What of my products have you tried in the past and liked or didn't like let me know down below make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it we want all the love and support over here on this channel and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything that i do over here as well as following me on instagram at leelavon89 so again you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye tell you say i beat nobody been searching all around but I found